Hi, this is Charlie Calvert. Let's talk for just a moment about uh, <clears throat> doing a little debugging using Chrome. So here we've got a very simple HTML page right here. And if you look at it, <clears throat> we link in jQuery, we link in an index file, we link in some JavaScript. And here we create three buttons and we um, set things up so when we click on these buttons we can change the background color of the um, form that we're working with, of the HTML page that we're working with. So if I press F12 and I run this, we'll try to make this work. And as you see, it's not working. So this is a situation where you want to debug. The way to get started in Chrome is to press F12. And if you press F12, it brings up the debugger down here. Okay? And then in the debugger, go to the resources page, go to the elements page, go to the sources page, go to one of those three places and see if you can figure out what's going on. Often the best place to find that information is to go to the resources page and open up this, this particular um, <coughs> collapse node right here. And you'll see that right in front of debug.html, we're getting five errors. And if we click on it, we can see these red code here. And those little red things are telling us where and what are potentially very large files our mistakes are coming. And as you can see, the error that we're getting here says uncaught reference error. Um, set background is not defined. Again, set background is not defined. Set background is not defined. And we go, well, why? I mean, I know I defined that in my debug.js file. And now, so we clicked on that debug js file we were here see here's where we link in debug.js and if you look at it you can see that this file has a small problem with it it has no code in it okay and so let's let's see let's go back to our editor and see if we can fix that problem we'll go here we'll bring up debug.js and we see that it has no code in it so over here i have my snippets and it just so happens that in this case I happen by a strange coincidence to have um, a snippet with the code in it that I need. And so I'm going to save that code. Then I'm going to go back to debug.html. I'll press F12 to launch it again. And now I'll press the buttons. And as you can see, they're starting to work. If I press F12 and I go and look at my um, files, you'll see none of them have any red things in front of them anymore. That this all those little red things are gone that's because our bug is fixed right um, another thing you can do since we are here talking about this is you can go here to the sources page and find your JavaScript you'd often just click on this little guy and find him or click on one of the links and then you can do things like set a breakpoint over here so if we click on the red button you can see we're stopped right at the breakpoint and then we can use F10 to step through our code like that all right, that's all I wanted to show, just a very quick lesson on how you could perhaps do very high level, let's just get started debugging, particularly if you're with some kind of nice guy who gives you all of your code ahead of time, so you can just paste it in if you see that something's missing or see where a problem is. Thank you very much. My name's Charlie Calvert. Um, come back and learn more about um, HTML and CSS and debugging and in this case, debugging in Chrome. I should probably add here, actually, before I go, that this same feature is available in IE and it's available in Firefox. In Firefox, you need to add an extension called Firebug before you have this, but it's built into Chrome. It's built into uh, Internet Explorer 9 at any rate and greater, at least that far back it goes. All right, thanks. Bye.